Now it belongs to Evil One again. I don't know, it must have been here all the time, but um, I guess it might be following us into battle right now. So you ready for an alpha fight then? I may not have brought these in close enough, I thought that was the back, look at it. I don't even know if we're going to end up with any in there. I, I think we might be screwed. I think we're going in here with Yuti and Jaboa at this rate. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh my word, my word. Hello and welcome to the ARK Community Cluster server and the guys over on Discord have voted for the Crystal Isles to be on the rotation for the month of February. So I figured why not do a refresher course on everything you need to know about taming some Crystal Wyverns. And let's just get rid of this fire. But before we jump into that, I wanted to tell you a story about, well, what I've been up to. And it all starts before Christmas. So, unfortunately, I lost my internet connection and this of course led to a bit of a disaster on the R community server and on the center map playthrough. I'm afraid to say that I might have had a few otters out and about and uh, maybe a few patrons might have starved to death over the Christmas period because I wasn't able to get online. Now we haven't lost anything major. In fact, I can't tell what I've lost. I, I just had a load of dead stuff in my pocket. No! But <laughs> So I got a little bit behind on the playthroughs with the internet connection going down. I tried everything to get it to come back up because it's not only that I couldn't get online to feed my dinosaurs, but I also couldn't get online just to be able to log into Adobe Premiere Pro so I can edit videos. I just needed to authenticate my login and I tried to do everything. My internet provider sent me a wireless dongle and I just tried. All I needed to do was just to be able to get online to be able to edit some videos. And unfortunately, it wasn't until the new year near enough that I was able to get back online. And after that, I had a lot of work planned through January. So I kind of lost my stride a bit when it comes to the rhythm of getting out content on YouTube. But over the month of January, I have managed to do some overtime and I've managed to update my GPU. Now, that was another problem that I had. Unfortunately, my 1080 is a great graphics card for gaming, but for editing, it's not so good. So I've managed to upgrade to the 3080 and that's generally what I do. I try to stick with the 80 series and jump every two years, but I really did need to jump onto a 20 series card or higher because my GPU was really struggling with some of the editing software that I was using. So I'm now trying this out in 4K. So let me know if you can see a difference with the 4K. I can go back to 1080 when it comes to the gameplay. I didn't really do it too much for the gaming. It was more for the editing side, but I wanted to be ready for all of the new games that are coming out this year. Okay, so let's go and find ourselves some crystal wyverns. Well, I've just bumped into Shazella and long story short, there is a max level egg waiting for us up in the nest ahead, which is great news. I'm gonna swipe that. And she did say, if any of you newcomers would like to join the server, that if you do come across the Alpha Talon, then you automatically get free entrance into the fight. And uh, yeah, that goes for anyone. And uh, I'll come in and back you up on the fight as well, because that is one problem we're gonna have on this map. It's not the trophies, it's that Alpha Talon. Now, as always, this is how I deal with dragons. 
I always have rock elementals. I put them on turret mode so they stay in place. And I'm just going to pump some levels into these. Now these are not even particularly great ones. I've just picked them up on the Scorched Earth map because I've recently had the Scorched map on. I wanted to do the new notes and put them all together in some sort of video for you. And I'll probably put some highlights in from that fight. I'm trying to... Oh. Why am I... What am I on? Oh, I'm, I'm off the wreck. What? I'm off the UE, I'm on a Rex now. <laughs> I was trying to... I was, I'm on a Rex, I don't know where the f*** is. I was trying to shoot while I was on the back. Our Rexes did it though, and uh, they did really well, so... I wonder how much we can take it down to. Maybe we could do it with like five Rexes, it'd be something to try. Okay, so we've got an egg just to the right of us there, but I'm just going to have a scan around this cave area because sometimes they all clump up and the second you pick up a wyvern egg, they all come at you. So it's just the same in the trench. And you just don't have the lava to deal with when it comes to these wyverns. Now, it's only the heirs that will lay eggs and can tell an heir because they've got like a crown on their head. A skull crown. And they will aggro on you. And I think there is some nests inside, but most of the nests are just scattered around the outside. So even a new player can pretty much swoop in and grab an egg, but dragons are fast and my method is bring the dragons over to your rock golems. And of course, I did do a video on how to tame rock golem we call it Romeo's method it's very cost effective and they're one of the easier tames even though they do cost ammo for the cannon the method is pretty easy so I just grab these two and like I say they are invulnerable to the breath attacks and failing that a giga will also do the job it's just you can't use turret mode on the Giga, so they can end up running about a little bit and spinning round. They still work, it's just... I think I think Rock Golems are better for doing this. Now, it's a great way to farm Talons. I'm sure we're going to end up with plenty of Talons, but... It is a way to encourage the Alpha to spawn, and this is one of the prominent areas that it spawns in. Shez did say there is another area over near the lava biome. If it's not spawning here, it might be near the lava area. So what level's this egg? Oh, indeed it is a 225, a max level. Now the reason it's 225 is because crystal wyverns are passive tamed. And you do get taming effectiveness on there. So you can possibly get an extra 75 levels if you've got 100% tame and effectiveness. So I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this, but if he was to passively tame one of the non-air variants that don't lay eggs at 150, if we got the 75 levels with 100% tame and effectiveness, it would be equal to this egg. But due to the fact that it's a passive tame, we're probably gonna lose one or 2% on its tame and effectiveness, so it'd probably drop it down to a, I don't know, a 224 or something. So technically speaking, a 225 egg is as good as you're ever gonna get on a Crystal Wyvern, by about 1%, I suppose. Well, done a couple of rotations and managed to get some Ember Wyvern eggs there. Of course, we've got that max level egg, but no doubt I'm gonna be grinding this area and trying to encourage that Alpha Wyvern to spawn anyway and my method for getting wyvern eggs is always the same have a couple of giggers or a couple of rock golems and you're golden so now on the community map we now have eight mods and one of the new mods that the community have voted on is this soul ball catching mod and i do plan to do some content on all of the mods that we're currently running in fact shez told me I need to update my Steam profile for the mods 
and we've just done the Discord. So if you've got any questions about any of the mods that we're running, just ask on the Discord at the moment. But I do need to update all of that stuff. And when it comes to a community server, especially a busier one, you do need to have a few mods on to ease some quality of life stuff. People do have lives and of course, even if you're just a solo arc player, you can end up taking up so much space with your dinosaurs, it can slow everything down. So mods like that salt ball catcher does make it easier for the admins and does ease pressure off a server. And inevitably, we all wanna go on to face Genesis part one and two. And to do that, we really need to have a busier server. In fact, I feel like Genesis part one and two is really much designed around quite a few people playing. Now I'm going to move away from the plateau area to somewhere a little bit safer, find one of the passive crystal wyverns and farm some of their primal crystal, which acts as their kibble. So just to illustrate a point on how I do it, Typically speaking, I'm going to use my Phylocolio. I do that when taming most creatures. And of course, with the introduction of Genesis Part 2, we got the net gun. So I think it's a little bit overpowered that you can simply net a dragon. But hey, you can do it with UTs. And that's just the way the game is now. Now I do have shocking trank darts and it looked like it only took one dart yet to knock this thing out. So didn't even need to net this one with shocking trank darts and a half decent long neck. Probably won't give us much in the way of crystals back. And let's see if we've got enough. I want at least six or seven, uh, just three. They do have a spoil timer on them. I don't know why, because they're crystals, but I'm just going to kill this one. A level 100. That's probably going to take a few trank darts to knock that one out, but you do get 60 seconds with one of these nets. And even with ordinary tranks, it should be enough time to knock one out. Especially if there's a couple of your firing darts at it. So see there look one we're looking at four darts to knock a crystal wyvern out and that's more than enough time well shocking trank darts it's more than enough time to get all the primal crystal need and in theory we should get more crystal back from a level 100 than a level 20 so let's just test that did we get back uh, so we've got 18 now, so what, did we get 15 from a level 100? It's going to vary, but that's more than enough. So when approaching the wyverns, I try to get up the side of their wing and onto their back. You can see we've got the prompt to feed it. Once you're on there, you don't have to lay down, but I always more, feel more comfortable when I'm crouched. I feel like I'm going to fall off when it turns otherwise, but just press E to feed. And this is where taming effectiveness comes into it. Looks like it's going to take four or five primal crystals and that will knock its taming effectiveness down. Every time it eats, it will slightly go down. So that's why grabbing that 225 egg was the max level because your creature is always going to have to eat at least once. That will knock it down that 1%. Now our taming rates are pretty kind but it's probably going to take 20 minutes or so to tame this one up. And we've got ourselves a 130, so hopefully it's going to be a good level. But I hope you enjoyed that episode. I know it's just a short one on how to tame yourself a crystal wyvern, or perhaps a fresh, a refresher course, because I'm sure you guys already know this. It's just been a little bit of time since I've been on the map, and I'm excited to be back. Don't forget, comment down below if you enjoyed that one, and until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya. A few minutes later. Okay, excellent. So, no, no, where are you going? Oh, you stupid. Oh, my legs. My legs. Oh. Well, 
if you're doing this one at home, perhaps get yourself a parachute or a tech suit. 